Hey everyone, Andrew, and today, we're diving headfirst into the mind-boggling third episode of From. This isn't just your usual breakdown. I'll be revealing hidden secrets, connecting dots, and sharing some jaw-dropping theories you don't want to miss. Let's move to the next big mystery, those creepy statues Kinney's search team found in the woods. Remember seeing them in episode 1? I don't think they're just for decoration. These statues seem to have a deeper significance, likely tied to the pilgrim we've seen before. Could these figures act as dark talismans? And are they connected to the eerie blood rituals happening in the town? Speaking of which, one of the most chilling scenes in this episode is the pilgrim drinking blood from a skull. It's like something out of a nightmare, a twisted, ritualistic act. But here's the thing, this isn't just random violence. This could be part of a much older and darker history of the town, tied to those mysterious numbers and the lighthouse. Could these rituals represent the peak of evil in this cursed place? Now, let's shift our focus to Fatima. Her pregnancy is far from normal, and it feels like the town is twisting her situation into something dark and unnatural. Could she be carrying something far more sinister than just a child? Her connection to the decaying crops and her strange behavior, it's disturbing. Could this be the town's way of using her to bring forth something horrifying? And then we have Boyd. He's not in a good place. His plan to capture a monster seems less about saving the town and more about his own desperation. He's struggling, haunted by visions, and drowning in his emotions. It feels like Boyd is in a battle not just with the monsters outside, but with the darkness inside himself. Is this mission to trap a creature really just a way for him to confront his own demons? All right, here's the theory that could blow your mind. What if David and Miranda are actually the same person? Could From be playing with the idea of reincarnation? Maybe no one in the town truly dies. Instead, their souls are recycled, trapped in a never-ending cycle of death and rebirth, controlled by the town's malevolent forces. All those clues, the bracelet, the song, the visions, might be more than just eerie parallels. And let's not forget those bottle trees. Remember when Boyd found the number 1864 carved into one? This number also appears in the lighthouse, and it's connected to the Civil War and that soldier Jade keeps seeing. These trees could be much more than symbols, they might be markers of time. Before we wrap, let's talk about Episode 4, There and Back Again. Things are about to get intense. We've got newcomers arriving at nightfall, Boyd facing a tough decision, and Victor literally digging into his past. What's he going to find? And trust me, the next few episodes are going to turn the whole story upside down. That's it for today, but I need to hear your theories. Is the man in the yellow suit controlling everything? What do you make of Fatima's pregnancy? Is she carrying something far more evil? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more breakdowns and wild theories. I'll be back tomorrow with a deep dive into the reincarnation theory, so stay tuned.